Let's bust some myths about portrait painting. In this video, I want to talk to you about three common myths that artists and other people have about portrait painting. We're gonna bust them. <laughs> All right, myth number one. And this really is important before I get into even the first myth. It's important because if you embrace these myths, uh, it could hold you back from being a portrait painter or being the best portrait painter you can be. And I don't want that for you. Uh, so it's important that we recognize these myths. They might be in your mind right now. You might know other people that uh, embrace these myths, but we're going to bust them today. All right. Myth number one, talent. The myth goes like this. Uh, you have to have some kind of special talent to be a portrait painter and only a few people can do it. Not so. Uh, it, it's kind of like you know Michael Jordan and basketball, and you know people think you know only Michael Jordan can do what he can do. Well, granted, he he his body was geared to become a basketball player, um, but there are other people that defy those odds, like Spud Webb, who was a lot shorter, and he actually did quite well, even though genetically he might have not been as geared towards basketball playing as Michael Jordan. But getting into art, okay, this idea that only a few people can do it, no, it's not true. Really, what you need to be able to paint a portrait well is desire, okay? Desire is even more important than talent. And really, desire is a big component of talent itself. You know, you wouldn't be here watching this video if you didn't desire to paint a portrait of, let's say, your grandchildren or family members or uh, to have something beautiful to hang on your wall or enter into an art show or to uh, do commissions of other people's family members, beautify the world around you. Whatever the motivation is, you have a desire and that's the most important thing. And that leads me into the next point is that if you have the desire, the teacher will appear. Okay, it's just like uh, Luke Skywalker. You know, Luke Skywalker uh, had a mission where he needed to conquer the the dark side and you know the empire and restore peace uh, to his world and you have a mission as well you know just like luke skywalker uh, when he had that that mission uh, put upon him the teacher appeared obi-wan kenobi appeared and showed him how to do it and and in the same way i am your teacher here to show you how to paint a portrait you can be proud of so when you have the desire a teacher will appear okay and then the third thing you need, okay, desire, uh, instruction with a teacher or a guide. Uh, then the third thing is to follow through with practice. So you learn these skills, these techniques I'm going to teach you, and then you follow through and you do them and you will suddenly realize, wow, I have talent. I, I'm a portrait painter, but really it's just that you had the desire, you, you had a teacher and you followed through with practice. All right. I think we busted myth number one. <laughs> Let's go on to myth number two, art school. A lot of people think that you have to go to art school for years and years to be a portrait painter. That is not true. All right. Now, maybe in years gone by, back in the old days, you had to go to art school because you didn't have um, the capability of connecting with people all over the world like you have today, where you can find an online art teacher and learn how to paint portraits in the comfort of your own home. Um, but really, you don't need an art school. I remember when I was a student at Milwaukee Institute of Art and Design um, back in the 90s, and I didn't actually finish school because they were pushing me to become an abstract artist. I did very well with my classes, but I thought, you know, I don't want to do abstract work. I want to pursue realism. So I actually left art school after a year. And truth be told, I learned a lot more um, from the week-long summer art class I had in high school where I learned the acrylic glazing technique under Norb Cox. Same technique I'm going to teach you. All right, I learned more in that one-week summer art intensive that I learned in a whole year of art school. So do you need art school? No, you just need the right focused instruction. All right, so really what I've seen with many of my students, they've painted a beautiful portrait in their first try following the acrylic glazing technique because they're not learning all these extraneous things they don't want to learn. They're just focused on the one thing, which is painting a portrait. 
So my method is to help you paint one portrait you can be proud of. And then after you do that, you can actually rinse and repeat and do it again and again and again. You can grab another reference photo and paint a realistic portrait from that using the same techniques you're going to learn from this class. All right. And then after that, you can go back and brush up on some fundamentals, you know, like your composition, anatomy, likeness, values, colors, blending, detail. Um, but first, let's just get you painting one portrait you can be proud of. Then you can go back and work on the fundamentals and uh, just kind of enhance your, your skill level from there. All right. I think we've busted myth number two, that you have to go to art school for years and years to be a portrait painter. Uh, myth number three. Myth number three is inspiration. So, a lot of people think you have to wait till you feel inspired to paint. It's like, I feel inspired, now I'm going to paint. There's like some esoteric feeling you get and all of a sudden now you, you whip out your paints and your canvas and you just start flowing and it's not really like that. You know, Chuck Close famously said, uh, inspiration is for amateurs. The rest of us just buckle down and get to work. And that really is true. It really is true that uh, if you just wait for inspiration to come, you're probably just going to end up watching more <laughs> uh, series on Netflix. Uh, so the best thing to do rather is just to get into your studio or get into your art space and do a little bit of work. All right, and really what is true is consistency begets creativity. So if you just put in a little bit of work every day or a few sessions a week, whatever your schedule allows, um, you will find that you will become more and more creative. That inspiration in you will begin to rise up and you'll be able to pretty soon do uh, you know, paintings from photographs or uh, just whatever comes to mind, you'll, you'll have many ideas because you've already done these ideas and it'll spur new ideas, maybe spin-offs of ones you've done before. All right. Consistency begets creativity. And finally, there is some truth to the fact that it's good to have inspiration. All right. So uh, we don't want to run dry. We want to fill our creative wells as artists. And so it is good to get exercise, you know, go for walks around your neighborhood if you can, or go to a park, um, maybe spend some time with loved ones, uh, go to an art museum or an art gallery and look at the beautiful work that has a great way of inspiring you to do beautiful paintings as well. Uh, another source would be, you know, spending time. Uh, like for me, I spend time in prayer, reading my Bible. I can tell you how many ideas I've gotten for paintings just by reading my Bible and praying. And I'll see a scripture verse and it'll just leap off the page. And I get out my sketch pad and I'm like, oh man, that's a painting idea. I have to do that. Uh, you know, like my painting of Smoldering Wick, for example, is one example I can think of, but there's many. So um, filling your inspirational, your creative well is also important too. All right, so I think we've busted that myth of inspiration. Um, I think we've busted all three myths, and I'm not saying this is an exhaustive list. There's, there's other uh, myths about portrait painting as well, but these are three common myths that I could think of, and I believe we busted them all. So uh, I hope that uh, this video has been encouraging to you, and I'm looking forward to teaching you more about portrait painting, but I want to give this spark of uh, encouragement to you and bust the myths before we actually get into the process. All right, thank you for watching this and I'll see you in the next video. God bless.